All right, everything's going to be in a little different place. Free fry complete. Yeah, this is it's electrical. It's right here. This one here is just this one. Okay. We need that on all the time because people all need right. that. Around. So all the circuit breakers are in. The fuel selector fullest tank. They're both the same at the tabs. Carb heat is right here, same place. Yep. Oh, off. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna. Yeah, it's on the other side. Okay. Here. Okay, master. Oh, okay. Chicken is. Uh, that's on right there. We leave it okay, on. Okay, so that's on. Okay. Uh, fuel pump is on. Clear. Find Matt and he'll help you pull the airplanes out. That that's coming out anyways, because he's going flying right now, but get Matt to help you pull it out. Where's the starter? So, oh, it's just hey Terry, thing. send Matt out. Uh, they gotta pull out Mark's airplane because the Meyer witches are here to uh, fly the airplanes so and Matt Mark's gotta come out anyways. Yep. Okay. Now this is, uh, you turn this one, instead of pushing the button, you turn it all the way to the right and then you push it in, all the way to the right. Now push it, hang on. Good. Oop. You didn't Next turn. Turn. Yeah, okay. Hey, I try it now, she should go. Keep it going. Good. Things are in different places. <laughs> And take a little getting used to. There we go. Oh, it's quieter. Okay. There you go. Take fuel pumps off. Fuel pressure. Oh, gauges are in a different world too. Okay, so fuel pressure, oil pressure, melt. Radio, you already. Yeah, I, I, I turned it back off at the start. There you go. Good. Okay, transponders. Uh, gonna be different here. Uh, just a standby. Yep. Okay. And nav lights. Uh, they're there. on right there. Yep, they're on. Okay, and radio check. You're in 3 3 uniform? Yes, we are. Okay. Great back to traffic, 3-3 three, three uniform, radio check. See if we can get the hang of a new bird. Oh, 
Let's say a wind sock to it. Okay, two uh, nine. Yeah, we'll do. Uh, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll use two nine. Yeah, got it. Great back to traffic. Uh, three three uniform crossing runway two nine. Taxi to runway two nine. Very, very different. Yeah, it's uh, they, they fly exact. They fly pretty much the same. Uh, but the only thing is, they hand, instead of pushing out that there, so. This one idles a bit lower. Yep. Or in the grass, I should actually have the elevators up, right? Uh, you should, uh, it's calm winds right now. There's, we know this area is really good, so if you're not sure of the area, that's what you, you, you okay. have it like this. But this airplane, we know that this is good. It's, it's, it's like, oh, see, the nose doesn't come up down at all, doesn't go up or down at all. Right. So it doesn't make any difference. I thought it was for, like, potential stone chips. Or... It, it is, but see what happens, see, the nose doesn't come up at all, see that? Oh, it doesn't that, change the... It doesn't change the pitch of the nose at all. It is also to protect the prop, prop. If you pull a wheel back, you know, it, it, if it's, it, it doesn't, but you could get into practice holding it back if you're on grass anyway. So we, if you go to Klein Kill, we do it because the grass is uh, uh, thicker over there and it'll pull you down where this is just put straight down to the dirt. Feels like if I go too low, she's gonna stall right out. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, it feels like that, but it doesn't. So. Okay. So brake set. Not creeping. Where's my tack on this one? Okay. Right Two thousand. Okay. Left chart. Right check. Uh, next one is going to be curb heat check. Okay. And fuel pressure, oil pressure, vacuum is okay. Everything's in a different place. Yep. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Fuel selector, proper tank, we're good. Fuel pump is on. Engine gauges are check, oil pressure, our oil temperature green, oil pressure is a little low, is that alright? Yeah, it's because it's, it's because of oh, cause the RPM, it's because of the RPM. Okay. Bag needles are both primer locked, mixtures rich, okay. Engine light on, RP is off, ammeter, where is that fella? Right Down there. here. Okay. Alright. Uh, flaps to two and trim tab around there. Heading into cater. Okay, so we are one just over one seven. Okay. Timeter is set. And nav radio set. We want a transponder to altitude and controls are free clear. Doors, windows, latch, seat belts fastened. Okay. We're going for a ride, Rick. Let's go. Okay, so we're doing all the stuff here. Now you gotta get ready. You gotta remember what time you're off. Okay, we're just gonna take off and just go right on course. Okay, so our course is what? We said is uh there's a four. Okay, so we take off, got a 004, and I'm looking for, as it's come up here, you'll see a tower here, it's towers there, you're going to go right over these two sets, so I'm looking for those. Okay. And then it's going to be here right up there, okay? And we're going to contact... Uh, Are these towers obvious? Oh, 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 we didn't even contact. Oh, yep, I'm sorry, yeah. Sorry. 
Great Barrington traffic, 33 uniform, departing runway uh, 29, uh, leaving the pattern. Now this is, a, I was on the wrong line, the tower's going to be off to the left, but we're looking for uh, boost and tonic. I'll point this all out on the way out, because as you go like this, you want to be, make sure you point yourself all out, you know where you are. Now we're going to park the brake and we'll lean it out here. Okay, and I'm leaning out, we basically... Uh, you're going to bring it up to 2,000, I'll bring the power all the way up first. All the way up? Yep, yep, bring it all the way up. There you go. And now what you're going to do is now just wait to stabilize. Now just bring it back about an inch and you'll watch, watch the RPM increase. You get better for it when it starts to decrease. Now it's going down, so now push it forward about a half an inch. There you go. You are leaned okay. out, max speed. Okay. All right, so tachometer's good. Yep. Gauges are in the green. Yep. And everything else is the same. Eyes at the end of the runway. Airspeed is alive. 40, 50, coming up on 60. And I just lower the nose. This, this, this doesn't climb uh -huh. like, oh, okay. like 2 0 Romeo. Okay. There you go. There you go. There you go. Great Barrington traffic, Cardinal 5 Victor Zulu's back taxiing runway 29 or Great Barrington. Yeah, it wins and calm. Why don't you guys use 1 1? Okay, thanks. We'll do that. Okay, so we're going to get to our heading. Okay, now just go right to 004, so it's okay. 004 is right up there. And a little bit, you're going to see two sets of towers shutting up on, sticking above the, the uh, horizon there. And you're supposed to be just left of it. 004. Okay. Almost. Good. Now take it up, take it up to us. Who said up? Send those ones guys. Trim it up. Trim it up for you. You guys trim it right up. Trim it right up. Oh, yeah. Trim it right up. Up. Oh. Yep. There you go. Take it right up to us. Yes. There it is. See, now it's trimmed up for 80, so you don't have to push or pull. Let the airplane okay. do its thing. Okay. Now you can take up your flaps. Okay. There you go. Just keep and those clouds now, right there. Now if you see, you'll see. Yes. There's that first tower right there. See, that's right here. Oh, okay, okay. To my left. And then see the other two there on the top of the hill way off to the left there? Uh, barely. Real, real tall, thin ones. See that dark? Yeah, okay, yeah. now I do, yeah. Yep, yep. So they're supposed to be off to my left, so that's what I'm looking at, okay? So here I'm just coming on and heading as okay. 004. So all you got to do is I got this cloud right ahead of me, so I'm just heading towards these clouds. They're not going to be moving fast enough for you to climb it, okay? And this goes on here. What time did you take off? You took it at uh, 2.37. Uh, Okay. Okay, so your first, uh, there you go. This goes on your lap, so you got to write down 237, you're off time. So your first checkpoint oh. is going to be eight minutes away, right? Okay. All right. Oh, here's this is going to be impossible because I'm a lefty. Okay, so what am I doing now? Okay, so now you took off at, uh, at uh, 237. So, so just your actual time, your time is uh, 237 time off. Okay. Now our first checkpoint is eight minutes away. Okay, so 37 okay. plus eight is going to be what? Uh, about uh, 40, uh, 45 thereabouts. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. So our first I should have probably wore a watch, huh? Oh, I got, yeah, I got one here. Okay. So Great Barrington traffic, Cardinal Five Victor Zulu departing runway one one. We're going to make a left turn to the north. Now the first right. checkpoint may be a little bit off for the simple fact is that you're climbing not at your cruise power setting. So hold your heading zero four. Right. Uh, just lower the kind of compensated trip. that a little yep, bit. Yep. Looks good. Towers look good. Okay, coming up here. Looks good. I gotta get used to the right-handed flying, I guess. I'm gonna have to learn that. It's gonna be weird with yeah, the put throttle. Your, put, your, put your left hand there, yeah. I, I see you right with your left hand. Yeah, so I'm left-handed, yeah. so yeah. It's, it's gonna make flying a little bit more challenging. All, that, that, and, all that and a different plane is gonna yeah. make today a now you just see, just coming up here, Great Barrington, you got Housatonic right off my right. It says the factory. You see the factory stacks right over there? The, the, uh, yeah, there's cement, there, the brick ones there, but here's the town of Housatonic. So here's Housatonic right there. So you're right, pretty much track good track right on course. Track track and you're climbing to 4,500 feet? 5,500, right? Uh, 5,500, yeah. Okay, so again, just hold. See that one little cloud right here? That's all I'm doing. This heading here yeah. is looking good, and I'm just going to put a little bit of pressure on the wheels there to just help me right out.
Brookhaven traffic about four minutes ago. Scott Evan over the Brookhaven Airport. Four minutes ago, Scott Evan over Brookhaven. Again, here's just to let you know the area. See, this is the line. You see the uh, Stockbridge Bowl right there. Did you see the water right up there? Yep. That's the Stockbridge Bowl right there. Okay. Mass Pike is right right below it. Okay, it looks good. Public okay, Cash Revenue, please. Your CD two zero move left crosswind one five four. Okay, every 500 feet you gotta do this, you gotta look for traffic, okay? Look, okay. Look good for traffic. There's the city of Albany, see the city of Albany is supposed to be off my left hand side. The city of Albany way up there, looking good? Yeah. Okay. We got uh, West Stockbridge yeah, right here, see this West Stockbridge? The There's West Stockbridge right here, looking good. We're looking like pretty, pretty much right on course. Preparing to use at 1 1 or 2 9. <laughs> Hey, Craig, uh, I had the Meyerwoods just take off on 1-1, one, one. winds are calm, so if they're off, there's uh, whatever runway you want. I'm going to use 2-9, Rick. About 7 to the west, sending through 3,000, and uh, we'll be landing on runway. Hey, Victor Zula, you guys take off yet? Yeah, we're just uh, over town, 1800, climbing northbound. Okay, Craig is going to land on 2-9. Uh, okay, very good. I gotta hold you zero zero three. Three bearing to traffic, Skymaster 1768 Zulu, back taxi 29 and three bearing. And I see here's here's West Stockbridge right here. See the West Stockbridge? Uh, got that long what long is West here. Stockbridge? I mean, I'm, the town, I don't know uh, much about it. See the town? Down, it's, it's just looking at okay. chart. You see right here? And I can tell, and I look at the map here. I got there plan for a second. See, it's no located just north of the Mass Pike. See the Mass Pike? See the trucks down there? That's why I know it's there. Also, oh, okay, there, okay. there's also, see the, there's a, uh, uh, right there to the side. Airport, please. On the side, looks good. Okay, so now you're just climbing in, you're zero, zero, four, yeah. Doug, and you don't want to climb with that high, so what I would do is I would just trim it down for uh, I trim it down for just a, a little bit uh, lower speed so you can see over the nose. Traffic right about system. like that. Okay. Nine zero, five zero, Romeo four. turning a yeah, left. You're going to be a little bit faster, maybe zero, nine either. So we said 45 was going to be our first checkpoint. I see the mass pike coming up here a little bit, but what happens is because we're not at our cruise speed, it's going to be a minute or two behind. Okay. So if it takes nine minutes, at 9:46, that's fine. That's reasonable. And I can see that, see the point here? Here's your point right here. Well, and I think I, got, I calculated oh, that at 85, not, yeah. but we were only doing 80. Okay, but now here you also so see the West Stockbridge right there. See West Stockbridge right there, it looks good. And I can see it also, there's a train track here. See the train track coming right here? See it just north here, see the train track going right up? See, see the train track? Uh, no. <laughs> no, right in the woods down here, see it? Oh, okay, now I am. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so you see how you see this is positive identification. So see how the, 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 the train comes down here. See it makes that sharp bend up towards Pitchfield. And what happens is now you got here. So there's air. Okay, now there's Richmond Pond right here. This is Richmond Pond right here, okay? And there's the Pittsfield Airport right there and the city of Pittsfield behind it. See this? This is positive identification. Okay. Where's Pittsfield Airport? That Pittsfield Airport. See, it? see the pond right here? Yeah. Okay, now right, just to the right, you see the runway? Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, but now you're still climbing up now. Also, it, just to get you going, way off in the distance, you can see the hills. Those are the hills of Glens Falls way up there. So what I have to do is this heading is way, way off in the distance. Okay. That's where I'm heading. Those two, right now, opening between those two sets of clouds. Okay, okay. now you got to keep going to 5,500 feet. Now we're right over the Mass Pike right now. Look at it, right? Okay. So, so it says 45. So what you have to do, is your actual time is uh actual time arrival is 45 right there just put 45. okay so now, now my next one is eight minutes so that's going to be way over here that's going to be 53 okay so just just remember 53. i'm trying to get back on heading yep right. okay so 50 53 is going to be my next one at 53 i should be over my next waypoint okay okay as i come over here now it's kind of hard to see here but right past here see this little pond right here that's yeah, Queechy Lake, and it's right here. Well, it looks like we're going right over it, so we're a couple miles, well, about maybe a mile to the right of course, okay? So let's okay. Pick up, just pick up a heading about 355 and see what that does. There you go. So it's trying to get us back yeah. onto yeah, the I, line. Yeah, see here's Pittsfield. I, I look right down the runway here. I'm right, right, straight down that runway right there. See it? See oh, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. 
And then here's that little pond. See right down the runway, see that pond right there? And we're in good shape now. We're just off to the side of it, okay? Okay. And level off at 5,500. You gotta use your right rudder, you gotta use your right rudder. Uh, I gotta figure out what to do with this damn pond. Hey, just clip it on uh, here, just put it right there, however you wanna do it. Okay, now we gotta listen to Albany. We're gonna talk to Albany. 3282. You remember how we talked to those last time? Uh, yep. All right. And so what you do is who who want who are you, who are you calling who are you and what do you want? So it's Gl Albany, Cherokee five seven three three uniform. Uh, he'll say three three uniform. Go ahead. Just said uh, eight miles west of Pittsfield, BFR to Glens Falls. Request advisories. Five point five. Okay. So you, know, you want me to do it this time here so you can listen? Uh, um, yeah, I'm just trying right. to grasp it. All right. So just listen to what I say. It's the new numbers, everything's yep, throwing yep, me yep, off. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> and Albany, Cherokee 5733 uniform. Cherokee 5733 uniform, Albany approach. Yes, sir, we are eight miles to the west of Pittsfield, leveling at 5.5, BFR to Glens Falls, request advisories. That's my 5.5. uniform, squawk 4315. Squawk 4315, so 4315. Obviously, while you're looking, you gotta level the nose, you gotta level the nose. Uh, about... There you go. And uh, now you can bring the power back. 20 bring miles. Bring back, bring back, bring back. Now you see those, see those hills I'll way up in the down. distance there? That's up towards Glens Falls. But now you got to trim it out. Trim it out. Before miles, you, four, four, this four, is going to need about 25 because of daylight. Uh, 620, say intentions again. There you go. So. Uh, inbound for stop uh, Cessna 65620. Cessna 65620, squawk 4313. 4313, Cessna 65620. Okay, so now we take a look here. See, the, there's some. Uh, this is going to be a fine. This is a tower right there. underneath us, right here. See this. Uh, Number three three okay. uniform. Radar contact five miles left of Pittsfield Airport. Okay. Altimeter yeah. three zero two one. Uh, say again that last part. Altimeter three zero two one. Uh, Roger radar contact, and we're level at five point five. So okay. three zero two one okay. is the altimeter. Five six two zero. Radar contact okay. one eight miles okay. south of the Albany okay, so Airport. So now we're just going to head straight at this heading. It looks like heading about. 004 is a little taking us to the, to the right, so we're going to go about 000, maybe 350, something like that. So here we are, we're going to level off. Now here's Pittsfield, I can see, I know these two lakes, I know I'm ready to beam these here. And you see the town right down here? Albany Mission 69. That's Pittsfield? No, no, this town right down here, see this? Okay. That's should be Lebanon Springs. Okay, so you're coming up to see this here. Right there. Next thing you do is see the drag strip, so you're going to see the... Uh, the uh, Approach Saturday three, night drag Delta strip Zulu up here is supposed to be just on the right of that. November 3, Delta Zulu, no traffic observed. Roger. Central aircraft parachute jumping in progress, one zero miles south of the Glens Falls Airport, 900,000. Okay, yep, there's the drag strip. Okay, so it says right here. Six zero, navigate strip. straight in, runway one. Uh, wrong. Here's here go drag strip right there. Okay, so you're right on course right now. Okay, so yeah, you're right there. Okay, now I'm looking for a little bit of tower. I'm just gonna show you towers are very hard to see. Um, right off the nose, you see that all the trees and obviously you see a little opening. There's a little bit of a brown, uh, greenish area right off the about an inch above the nose. There's a tower right there. Okay, it's a great tower. It's very hard to see. I see it. We're supposed to be just to the left of it. So I'm just gonna turn just a little bit to the left here. Okay. Turkey 7396 with the squad 4314. We gotta hold our 5500. We gotta hold our 5500. Okay. So here we're coming up here. Now there's here's the uh, uh, there's the uh, pitch field right here. So we've got these towns right here. There's no names on these towns, but I see these towns right here. There's a road takes oh, right approach. up here, so the road takes it right up there. The okay, now here's Jiminy Peak now, right here. See Jiminy Peak? Kilo, radar service is and then that's Brody. Contacts connected to Tower 121.3. Okay, now what I'm doing is I'm just looking straight ahead. Okay, now look straight ahead. You can see where the see where the mountains end, and you can see the open fields again. Cherokee 7396 Whiskey, radar contact straight up the Appleton Twin Bridges. Up you see all the woods right here? See all the woods? Yeah. I see how it makes a dark line where the woods ends, and then you got some open fields way off in the distance? Yeah. Okay, that's that's just what you're looking at. Now, just off the nose, I'm going to put it right off the nose. See that little tower? You see the tower in the woods right there? Right straight off the nose. Look about an inch above the nose. I'm not seeing a tower. I see a lot of green. I don't see a tower. Okay, just go straight ahead. Now you see where the green ends. There's two little green fields straight ahead. 
Can I the the tower's right in the middle. It's hard. That's what I'm showing you. I'm saying, I, I, I definitely can't out. see a tower. Don't worry about it. I can see the spot you're talking yeah, about. Well, the tower blends in. That's what I'm showing you. Towers are very hard to use for one thing there. Now you're getting off here. Now you come up here. We're going back down here. You see these lakes right here? Okay. 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 We'll get up to 5,500 feet. Yeah. Every time we look forward, yeah, <laughs> we just, lose 500. I'm, I'm pushing it over so you can see stuff there. There you go. This is just one puffy cloud. We'll be alright. Now you can see the city of Albany. Right, uh, it's, Albany is supposed to be off my left hand side. Um. Uh, that's Albany right over there, right? Uh, right up there, yeah, up there, underneath the, uh, underneath the uh, cloud right there, yep. Okay. okay. Go around this cloud a little? Yeah, yeah, we just go straight here. It's good, it's good right there. Okay. Remember, three Delta Zulu radar service is terminated. Change for advisory frequency approved. There you go. Talking a bit, three Delta Zulu. It just lower the nose first and let the speed up first. Let the speed up first. That's why we're descending. Now trim it down. Trim it down. Trim it down a little bit. There you go. Trim it down. Taking it off. Taking it off the wheel. Taking it off the wheel. Taking it off the wheel. Very good. There it is. Okay. So now I can just bring your power back to about 24, 2500. There you go. And yeah, we're dropping altitude already. All right, yep. All right. Well, that's why this, this airplane, this time of summer right now, the airplane thinks it's at 7500. Okay. So all you're doing is you see that one puffy cloud straight ahead? Yep. Okay. Now to, just right to the right. You see that little dark mountain way off in the distance? Yes. All right, we're supposed to go just to the left of that, okay? okay. Situation uh, awareness. Six two, now, six five, you see all these little lakes right here? See all these lakes? See this, 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 this one here? That looks like that one right there, right? Yep. Yeah. Now you look, see the power, these are the power lines. See that power line right there? Power see the line, line going right through here? Yep, right? that's the power line. And it goes right over here. We're supposed to cross it at uh, 54, okay? So okay. we're coming up here in another minute. Okay. Maybe the power back just a little bit. So all I'm doing is now also here, you see this lake right here? That's our next checkpoint. But see the lake right off, see the end of the mountain with a... Yep. Yep. So that's, that's that lake? That's that right there. So oh, okay. I'm so showing you that this is what you're doing. You're looking yep. ahead. Now I got the lake and I know I'm supposed to be just to the left of that mountain because I've done this a million times. Right. Okay. Okay. So, so wedging between that yep. lake and... So now you just cross over the power lines at 54. So now here... And the right, with I got the contact point. Boston got Center, 120.35. Have a good 54. day. 54. What's my next one is in eight minutes, so it's going to be 52, right? Uh, zero, 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 two. Right. Zero, zero, two, okay? Yep. Okay. Hey, you hold the pen. Well, I've already got one over here. Okay. Nine, six, whiskey, do you still have the Skyhawk in sight? Uh, back to 5,500. Cherokee, nine, six, whiskey, roger. Now the water, the ponds all look the same. See this here? See all these little ones right here? That's exactly what you're supposed to do because you got to see the, see the power lines goes right between the big one. And then see the, if you look, it cuts right through the top of that front one there and that big one there. You got there. There's the city of Albany, you see right here, off your left wing tip, this is the city of Albany. There's the Albany airport right up there, see that little underneath the cloud? That's right up there. And now if I look straight ahead, I can see the uh, I can see the lake, see the big lake? Yep. That's the big lake right there. That's our first point. Yep. Or so that's. Our yep. point is pretty much the south end yep, of that Yeah, the south end, but that's what I'm just showing you. This is, I'm having you look for straight ahead, straight ahead. Now, see this big lake right up here? Yep. See that lake way off in the distance up there? That's the Saratoga Lake right oh, there. Oh, okay. Yep. I'm just pointing out all this stuff. Now, you're supposed to be heading about the zero, zero, zero. Yeah, I'm getting better yep, at picking yep. up on what you're pointing out, yep. but it's like... Having never really had this perspective before, it just yeah, it, it takes it, a minute it's, it's for things fine, yeah. to. It, and I've done this a million times, yeah. so it, 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 I just uh, well, why can't you see it? You know. <laughs> well, I, I I can if you give me enough time. Yeah. I just. Uh, oh no, no, that was saying sarcastic. I'm. Oh no, 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 I, because I'm okay. I because every time I I forget that I've been flying for so long, and you guys you've never done cross country, and I'm like I don't understand why you can't see that white birch in the middle of the pine forest. I get it because I talk to people new in my industry all the time that just don't grasp the concepts yep. I yep. throw at them. Yep, yep. And uh, yeah, we, we all do that. Yep. Now, I call this here, this little lake right here, um, where the hell is it? Mouse with a cheese. See that? That little looks like a mouse. Okay. A little piece of cheese and his tail. See that? Mouse, his ears, cheese, <laughs> and a tail. See the, see the, see the tail? Yep, see the, yep. uh, there? So that's what I'm just showing you here. See? These lakes are very, very, um, very, very um, identifiable. identifiable. And also just to the north of it, you see that other little pond right here? See this little pond right there? 
just to the north of his ears, you know, little pond. They got a bunch of little ponds up here. Now, yep. here you see the pickaxes. There should be a quarry right off your left hand down, right off the right off the nose down. You okay. see, see a big quarry? Nope, but I could probably rock to see. It's right there. It's, it's right out. It's, it's coming up. You'll see it in a second. Oh, okay. It's, at the end oh, of, yep, okay, yep, okay. Yep, yep. I was looking down. Yeah, because you see it's right here at the end of the uh, the lake. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's just... Okay. Yep. Now, also, here, see the uh, Albany Airport? See this? Lined up with runway 28. So just south of the quarry, there should be a road, a fairly good side road that's got a bend in it. And look, there's the end of the runway 28, pointing right towards it. And then you got this t town of Troy. We're just gonna go around this one. Okay. And you can see, like, if this happens in a real world, all you do is you just go around. It's like this, but I see the lake right there, so I'm okay. gonna. That's so in this scenario, you're better off to go around it than yeah. under it or over it. Well, if you go under it, you can go under it if you want, but you have then to. Then you're in somebody else's altitude. Yeah, just tell me going to 5,000 feet, which is fine. Okay. okay. There we go. And they're tracking us so they can see us anyways and they'd forewarn yep. us. Yep. If I have traffic, that's what you're listening to them for traffic. And if it gets quiet... Oh, we turned the volume down. I didn't know we did, yeah, before. But, but every once in a while, if it's too quiet, just go to the volume, just make sure you're there, okay? Okay. And I can see the lake. Can you see this? It's got the bridge right across... See the road going right across the south end of the lake? See the river, the bridge going right over the yep. south end of the lake? You're supposed to be right over that. So just go ahead right there. Let's go. No, you want your heading it there. It's good. Now off in the distance, you see that, that dark little lake, that little dark mountain off to the right-hand side here? Yep. You're supposed to go just to the left of those buildings. So I'm yep. running right up the edge yep. of this puffy yep. white cloud. Yep. So this is just showing you this. Is, you know, now coming up here is Bennington, Vermont. Here's the mouse with the cheese. And there's Bennington, Vermont right over there. You can see this. You can see the uh, obelisk there in the center of town there. Uh, well, I'm definitely not picking up on that. I'm sure okay. if I looked long enough, I could. Yep. But. Okay. But it's, okay, so here we are, we're just 5,500. So this heading is actually holding pretty good. It may be, but every once in a while, now we've got to hold it here. Now let's check our compass and our gyro. Okay, okay so, so we're, uh, we're about five no, no, and we're... It's showing right now, it's directly north. It's showing directly, directly north. north. Yep. That's vibration. We're supposed to go zero, zero, 004. But this, I told you, so the winds you know, may have to put a couple degrees to the left. Now there you are, look at right, see right down the runway here? See yep. this here? Should be the quarry, should be right underneath you up here to the left. You see the quarry okay. up to the left? Yep, now I do. Okay, very good. So coming right over to, well, not quite at the south end of the lake yet, yep. but yep. we're headed right for that and the edge yep. of that. Yep, and I can, see, and I can see this. Yeah, I'm, I'm heading towards, see the tip of the lake? I'm actually heading towards the tip of the lake a little bit. Now, if you look way off in the distance, you see the mountain all the way on the horizon? It comes down this way here. And to the left, the other one, that's Ski Windham, and that's uh, the other mountain. Lake George is right in the middle of that, and Glens Falls is right between those two uh, uprights. Oh, yep. okay. Yep. Now here's the, worst comes the worst. See the Hudson River here? Goes right to Glens Falls. Now, to see the map here? I don't need this map down here at, the, at this end anymore, so now I'm gonna put it up here. Arthur, this is uh, November 312 Golf Victor with you passing 3,800 for 5,000. Okay, so here November it is. Number 312 Golf Victor, Albany Alpha. Now we know we're right here, okay. Albany Alpha Number 3021. Yeah, the Hudson River. It's going to take you right to Glens Falls. So if I get. We're looking for that T in the river. Yep. Right now you see this also. See here's, see these two towns right here? This, there's one town right there, and there's the other town right on the Hudson River. See this? Coming okay. Right up here. And how can I tell? Because see this lake here is pointing right to the tip of the lake, is pointing right to them. Number two Golf Victor, radar contact. Three miles east of okay, the... Okay, so Pacific you're not just looking for something. Oh, no. You're looking for things around that to... Uh, That's why you you're putting the pieces uh, together. Yep, so now also, see how the see how the power line goes up here, up here, two, zigzags one, here? Two, we know we're right here, see the power one, line zero, right here. And your radar zip, zip, zip. contact four miles okay. west or east of the Pacific Airport. Uh, but it's going to have to spend some time studying the, uh, yeah. the sectionals. Yeah, see, here's the... Uh, see, see the little bend in the... Uh, see the bend in the uh, power lines right here? See the bend in the power lines right there? Oh, yeah, and if yeah, I do yeah. that, see that? There's a town right here. See that town right there? Two Golf Victor, proceed direct to Stella. There's a town just on the north Stella. side of that. There you go. Three, one, two Golf Victor. It's just a lot to, lot to take, take in, yeah. but... 
but I'm just showing you. It makes you. sense. But no. people look right under here. I'm okay. exposing it. Like, see, see this? I see that big lake, but also look at the lake here. It says plant. See that? See that big white box down there? That's a big plant down yeah, there. Okay. Right. And then right behind the plant, there's 3, another little pond 65. right here. Right. Okay. 265, we went to Golf Victor. It's nice to be able to see some things and associate the well, that's, terms. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying yeah. to just, people just start looking up here, rare, I, you know, use these things. I, you see the two towns, there's one town there and one town right there, and the Hudson River's on the other side of them, right? And a little, another little town right up there, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so we're over the south end of that lake. What time we got, Rick? Uh, we have 02, and that's the time sure. we're supposed to be, okay? okay. So, and there. So, okay. 02. And so that's to be 11. The next one is nine minutes away, nine and a half. So it's 11. Nine okay. minutes. And that's going to be 11. The T of yeah, the T of the uh, river 311. Okay. Lost yeah. altitude, lost heading. Right. Yeah. The coordinating the left and right hand is going to be trouble with me. I might might end up flying from the right seat a lot. I guess possibly. I don't know. Yeah. That'll be different too. Yeah. Well, you when you're flying, you can put that you can put that over on this seat here and just cross reference it over here. Well, the writing yeah. is going to be yep. the op. That's going to be the obstacle. Yeah. So or I'm going to have to did, learn to scribble with my when writing. I, when I did mine, I, I did like this. But so with your power set, so what you can do is when you write, put an knee pad on this side here, and you go like this, put everything at this here. So just do like this here. Yeah, I just. But then yep, yep. learning to coordinate flight with this yep, hand yep. is going to be different too. Yep, muscle memory. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to have to start yep. flying with that yep. hand. Okay, now hold your heading is zero 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 because you said zero zero zero. Now you can see the Hudson River. The Hudson River is coming right up here. Okay, yep. see it bends. Okay, now you can see that mountain come down this way here, and the other mountain that's Ski Windham up there, and there's another hill right here. Glens Falls. I'm actually I can see the airport from here right now. Really? Yep. You see how that mountain comes down this way here, straight yep. ahead. Now, just before you see that brown patch at the base of the mountain there. I think I see the one you're talking about, the big the big broad one yep, there. Yep, yep. That's the airport right there, just to the left there, just you know, where okay. the mountain comes down. Right down there, there's the airport right there. Okay. With those like white building roofs or whatever right there too, is that hangers uh, or? Uh, no, that's, it's further away, further, further way off. Oh, oh, oh. It's okay. way off, yep. You so the last lighter patch we see yep. before the last yep, bone? Yep. Now actually you can see Lake George all the way at the horizon. You can see see the lake, that's Lake George. You can start to see a little bit of a water and stuff. Yeah, it's kind of hard to understand. But then there's a little brown patch there just before to right off the nose and that's, you can start to see the city of Glens Falls now. Okay. And where is it related? The airport is past the city of Glens Falls, up in the middle. There you go. See, this part looks an awful lot like our part. Yeah. <laughs> Seems to be a bit flatter right up here, in this yeah, area. Yeah, it's all, it's all flat farmland. Now you can see where the T in the river is, there's a town right here. So do I see a, follow the river up, do I see it? There's the river, see that town straight ahead up there? Okay. That, that, and then I come to the right, you see those white buildings here? That's where the river, see this is this town on this side here. And the river flows between the two. So you see the town on this side here? Yep. And then that town on there, and the river flows right between the so two. So that's right about the T point, right? Yep, that's the T point. Okay. Opening approach, November 3, Delta Zulu, check it back in. November 3, Delta Zulu, Albany approach, ident, Albany altimeter 3021. 3021, DDZ. Number three, Delta Zulu, radar contact four miles southwest of the Glen Falls. I calculated at a 110 airspeed, so that was pretty good guess. Yeah. Yeah. 3.2. Especially seeing I'm in a plane I don't know. <laughs> the river. We'll okay, advise. Now you see the Hudson River right here. There's going to be a little hook Number in the river up here also. Let's see if you can't find that little hook. A hook? Yeah, see it. In the see, river? Or? Yeah, yeah see, see it right here. See, no, see this right here? That little hook right there. Okay. Now it comes up here. The hook is right up there. You start to see the little yep, hook. Yep, I, I actually yeah. see that yeah. easily. Yep. And there's an airport right there. So if you look just to the left, of there's that, that beachy area right next to that. There's an airport right there. Oh. Yep. Avenue first, that's 72 with Romeo. 
772, Albany approach side down, Albany altimeter is 30. Keep hearing Romeo and thinking it's me. 772, 3021, looks like we're 2001. Look way off in a distance, can you see the water way off in a distance on the horizon? 772, Vaguely, yeah, that's like, isn't that, that you? That's like George. Come straight to us, and just to the right hand side, you can see runway one and one nine. You see that little grayish patch there, that brown patch? You can actually see runway one and one nine right now, and the hangar's off to the right. You've go got some amazing now, eyesight. Now go to the lake. Now you see where the mountain comes down this way here on the right-hand side? Yeah. Okay. Now just come straight towards that. You see that little patch? And you'll see two white buildings on the right-hand side. That's the airport itself. Okay. I'm seeing something I think is yeah, the airport, yeah. but I might... As you get closer, you'll see it. That's the airport. Cherokee 33 three Uniform, be advised there will be a parachute jumping operations over the Heber Airport in approximately eight minutes. Okay, and Heber is, I see that's off to my uh, left-hand side, so we can, uh, we'll, we'll go a little bit to the right. Turkey 3 3 uniform, thank you. Okay. So he says, see, there, there's going to be doing some parachuting at Heber, okay? So what we'll do is we're just going to parallel the course. So see, now this way, see this way, we're going to go to this here, and then we can go direct to Glens Falls, okay? So just going to see this town right here, see where the T in the road is? See the T in the river right here? See, there's, yep. see this town right here? Now they're sky jumping at that place right there, so we're going to stay away from him, okay? okay. So he's going to be over there, okay? So what we're going to do is we're just going to stay on this side here, okay? Okay. Now this way, if you had the airport in sight, can you see the town of Glens Falls up there? The, see the two two cities side by side up there? Looks like it, yep. All right, now go to the right. You can see that patch up against the mountain there? Just just about an inch to the, left, to the right of that? That's the runway. So if I see I have the runway in sight, then I can just come around and go around the parachuting and head right towards the airport. Okay. You see how the river goes right up here? Yeah. I okay. And can you see the town of Glens Falls? The two, the two towns? See the two towns? Yeah, okay. The patch is to the right and just up a little? Yep. That's the airport? That's the airport, yep. Okay. Yep. And you can see the buildings the right, on the right-hand side. You can see the white buildings on the right-hand side. Yep. Those are the, the terminal buildings. So if you get the you get the picture of the, I got the airplane, get the picture of the airport out. It should be right underneath your first the picture day. of the airport? Yeah, you had the, didn't you have a picture of the airport? No, I didn't. Uh, 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 no. I oh. didn't do that. All right. I got it on my phone. All right. All right, so Hebert Airport, we're, we know that we're right here, right up on, see there, there's the hook in the uh, river, see the hook in the yeah. river right there? So yeah. that's where we are, and Hebert's going to be up where those buildings are up there, so we're just going to stay on this side of the river, okay? okay. Where those big white buildings are? No, 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 just up here. It's, it's, it's only, this inch is, this is one inch equals a mile, I mean, one inch equals eight miles, so it's only half an inch, so about four miles in, so about where those white buildings, the farm is up there, Okay. those two farms, that's about where the Heber Airport is. Okay. 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 So now can you? So now we're just going to hold it right here. So. Okay. Now we're coming over the T in the river. We're supposed to be at 11, so we got two more minutes. See the T in the river down there? Uh, not quite. Okay. It's, it's right. It's right next to the. Uh, and it's, it's oh right, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, right yep, here, okay, yep. where the islands yep, and stuff yep, are. Yep. Okay. Now here is the airport right here. You see the you see those buildings right down there? Okay. Yeah, there, there's a strip right down there, and there's a seaplane base right here. You see those, 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 you get the farm on this side here, the bend in the river right there. There's a ramp for seaplanes, and that's the runway right there. It's a grass strip right there. See it? Not picking up on it. All right, hang on. I'll put it right off the wingtip here. There's a lot of open grass. So, see, right off the wingtip. See all those buildings right off the wingtip? Yep, yep. There, just the, on the side yep, of the river? On the other side of the river, yep. Yeah. Now, you see, the, you see that open grass right off the wingtip? That is the grass strip right there. Right along the yep, water line? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, yep. I was looking inland. Yep, nope, that's it right there. All day zero five Tango is uh, descending for Glens Falls now. And now you can see the airport 12 o'clock. Number 2305 yep. Tango, right? Got it. Okay, so we're kind of coming right in. Yep, yep. yep. So they're probably using one nine up there, but we'll see what happens, okay? Okay, so now you can just say Albany, uh, let me talk to them. And have they uh, done the parachute jumping out there at uh, Albany? We're 3 3 uniform. They're still climbing. The parachute jumping operations haven't started yet. Okay, uh, we're going to stay to the, well, to the, uh, about two miles to the east of the river. We have Glens Falls in sight. And I'll stay with you until you let me know they're jumping away. We're 3 3 uniform, Roger. You can expect to be trained to uh, change over to advisory in about six miles. Okay, very good. He said six miles because that'll be past their airport. Okay. Six miles to put us past the airport? Uh, no, push, uh, the, no, past that. Uh, he said it's six miles. We're right here, so six yeah. miles is right about here. Yeah. So that'd be past that airport right there. Okay. 
this is the airport. Yep. Okay. I always have a hard time seeing it. It's right next to a little, that little knoll right there, so you're looking for a little knoll. Must be a really little. It is, it, <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah. And it's a small airport. It's only, uh, it's, it's 2,200 feet. Oh, we lost a lot of altitude. Yeah, we have to. Oh, oh we, yeah, we, we Yeah, we got to start down, start down there. Yeah. All right. I don't see any knolls. Yeah, do I? Just come up here, or is it? We should be past, we should be, it should be right off our wingtip here somewhere. It's a tough airport, it's a very tough airport to, to find. Yeah, but then we got the airport in sight, so we just, we're just going to go this way here. Look, we'll go that way. You just got the airport in sight now? Yep. Okay, very good. So we'll, we'll, we're going to stay with him for just a little bit longer. And then, uh, we will, um, So we're we're about two miles. Yeah, about two. This miles. way from yeah, the yeah, river. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so they're about maybe three miles on the other side. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. Trying to see if there's anything. No, there's nothing. identifiable in the river, like a wiggle I, I, or something. I, I, the railroad track is the only thing, but I can't, I can't even see the railroad track from this angle here. There's, there's that town of Grandsport right off the wingtip, so it should be right off there somewhere. Does you see that town right off the wingtip? Yeah. That's this town right here, of Grand, uh, Grandsport. So the runways, okay. and I, I always, I always, oh, I see the airport now. You see the shiny thing right off, right off the wingtip yeah. there? That's it. You can see the runway down there. Okay. Yeah. That's right. I see the runway. I see uh, the yeah, shiny building. Yeah, yeah, that's shiny. You just look to the right of it. That's the, that's the runway. You see where it's three three uniform radar service is terminated. Squawk CFR change to advisory frequency approved. Uh, you do have traffic to your two o'clock and one zero miles there, southwestbound four thousand. Okay, Roger, we are descending out of uh, five now for the pattern. Uh, we'll stay with you until we clear the traffic. Okay, so, the uniform uh, so now just head now. He's at two o'clock and uh, four thousand, so he's over here. Right. Okay, so let's just head right towards the airport and then start a descent. Go right down and bring the power back. Okay, bring the power back. Yep. And how close is that aircraft to three three uniform? Number three three and from there, uh, eight miles to your northeast. Okay, very good. All right, we well, just all right now. Just push it right down. Just this case here. You no, know, just keep power there. I just push the nose right over. So you want to get below four thousand because he's at four. Okay. So all I'm doing is just push the nose. See the glance falls? Just okay. head right there. There you go. Once I get below four thousand, I know bring the power back if you want. The nose wants to come up, so you just push the nose over. Push it. There you go. Net 7-2, radar service is terminated. Squawk CFR change to advisory frequency approved. 7-2, roger that. Talk to your way out. Okay, we're below 4,000. So, say, at Albany, uh, 2 3 uniform is below uh, 4,000 feet, so we're going to uh, go to Unicom now. 3 3 uniform, roger. Keep, keep, keep the descent going right down there, because oh, okay. I had my phone here. 3 3 uniform, squawk CFR. Roger that. Okay, we're going to go to the right. Uh, do you know what their AWAS frequency is? This appear? Uh, my head right it's, it's, right, it's, right, it's, it's right on the chart. Oh, oh. It's right on the chart. It's 1992. 2.12 Celsius. Altimeter 3020. Remarks. Density altitude 1200. Thunderstorm. Information not available. Glens Falls, Warren County Airport. Automated weather observation, 1913 Zulu. Wind variable at zero 03. Visibility, okay, warm. Very well. So zero. now what's your frequency? 
Sky uh, condition clear. It's right, it's right on turn. Uh, right four Celsius. 123.12. So I'd do it. I'd set right to this case here. 123.02. Okay. Remarks. Okay. Density altitude. Okay, so now I'm just going to set up for a 45 to the downwind for 19 in case they use 19. If not, we're just going to do a uh, an upwind for 101. So now you just tell me you're five miles south inbound for uh, landing. Uh, anybody in the pattern? Okay, you got okay, there. So. That's just like Great Barrington. Great Barrington. Uh, it's uh, Glens Falls. Yeah, Glens Falls, three three four five miles south, inbound for landing. That's all I got to say. Glens Falls, three three uniform, uh, five miles south, inbound for landing. Okay, not trim it up. There you go. No, there's no. Doesn't seem like there's anybody in the patterns. Anybody in the pattern in Glens Falls today? Okay, so what we do is we just. So this is a non towered airport, too? Non towered airport. Okay. So we're just going to do, we're going to set up for downwind for runway 19. So this one on a 45 to the downwind, we're going to land on 19. So just. Okay, as, so we're going to yep, go up? Yep, yep. Oh. So, yeah, going to up, downwind. Downwind base. Yep. Final back this yep. way. So now just tell everybody, just say, uh, give your attention. Say, 3 3 form is on a 45 to the downwind, runway 19, Glens Falls. Glens Falls, 3 3 uniforms on a 45 to the downwind, runway 19, Glens Falls. Okay. Now their pattern altitude is 1,200 feet, so don't go below uh, uh, 1,300 feet is their pattern altitude. And it is Lake George right up there. Now see that? We saw those mountains way off in the distance. It came yeah. down this way here, so the airport's right there. Okay. And I go ahead and turn you down one there. Glens Falls, 3-3 three, three uniform, turning downwind, runway 19. When it's variable, it could be anything where you could have a headwind, a tailwind, you just gotta watch out for it. No more any lower. No. There's the windsock right next to that hangar. So you just see the round hangar with the silver roof straight out there. So it looks a like little it's, bit. yeah, it looks like it's favoring. Just past that is the windsock. So it looks like Let's it's favoring. Let's traffic. Uh, Columbia is about four miles to the north of the airport. I'm going to go uh, straight in for runway 19, full stop. Okay, you got an aircraft on the downwind. Just about ready to turn the base for runway 19. Uh, were you on the 19? Uh, yeah, we're using 19. Yeah. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, cross that center field of the winter and left out wind for 19. Carpet on. Do I go make sure it's or no? Yeah, yeah, no, no, just, yeah, you go ahead, that's fine. And then... Now, this is a big, wide runway like Columbia County, so you have to pick a spot and land on it. Now, you have to... You know, the, the runway is 45 behind you, so now, nice and easy, just start slowing the airplane up, turn your base leg, and tell everybody you're on a base leg. Glens Falls, 3-3 three, three uniform, turning base, runway 1-9, Glens Falls. Okay. Trim it up, trim it up. Trim, trim it up, trim it up. There you go, now it's just regular landing. Okay. We're gonna land and we're gonna clear, we're gonna go all the way down to the intersection and taxi back. Glens Falls traffic, Columbia, we're crossing uh, midfield, then our left downwind for runway 19, full stop. Uh, pick a spot where you want to land the airplane. See, you're, you're pulling the nose up. This is a trap. You're gonna, uh. You can stall the airplane out, so you got to fly it right to a point, fly it right to a point. See, now you're going to see, you're going to stall it out. See, you're going to stall it out, you're going to stall it out. What you do have to do is you have to pick a point and fly it to that point. What happens you start screaming out, we're going to stay on the center line. Okay, now go all the way, keep on, keep on, we're gonna go all the way to the other runway, okay? okay? What happens is you have to pick a point and fly down on that point, okay? For the simple fact is, you, 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 you're too wide like this and then you gotta stall it out, so. Let's all traffic, Columbia is entering left downwind for runway 19, full stop, Let's all traffic. 
Now you see the yellow taxi line coming up here. Now you see the red line that says runway 32 and 30, uh, 15 and uh, 12 and 30. Yep. Yeah, just before that, you'll see the uh, you see the yellow line coming up on the center line. Because when you come here by yourself, this is what you, you got to do. You got to taxi. Back. Now you see taxiway Charlie is a hard turn back. Is that thing the runway comes straight across okay. there? Okay. So. Okay. Just to just stay on the yellow line. See the yellow line. Stay right. Stay right. On, stay right on the yellow line. Let's follow traffic, turning uh, left base, runway 19, full stop. Let's follow traffic. Just say 3 3 uniform, clear the active runway, Glens Falls. They tell them 3 3 uniform is clear the active runway, Glens Falls. Uh, Glens Falls, 3 3 uniforms, clear the active runway, Glens Falls. Okay, so here we are now, just take Let's follow traffic, 2305 Tango, we are uh, 5 miles to the south. Go. We're going to enter left down yeah. runway 19. We've got to go to 19, so we just see you're on taxiway Charlie. See that? See the C? Yeah. Delta goes this way, Alpha goes that way. We're going to stay on Alpha all the way to the end. Let's follow traffic, okay. Club, is on short final. Do I need to announce when I'm changing? Nope, 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 nope. Not here. Nope, nope. Okay, take it, uh, you bring the power back, take it off the brake, take it off the brake. Now steer with your feet, nice and easy, steer with your feet. You're on taxiway, Alpha. There you go. Yeah, here we are right here. See this here? There's taxiway, Alpha. Yep. Okay. Now you just taxi whatever you're going to stand all the way to the end there. You see, here we are on taxiway, Alpha. All the buildings to the right. I was thinking that this was going to be a, a bigger, busier airport, I guess, but uh, it can be sometimes. Sometimes, because uh, these are all corporate airplanes. There's a lot of because they uh, the town of Glens Falls and gave big corporate breaks to keep airplanes here versus Albany and other places. This is where the state of New York keeps all their airplanes. And I see you coming up on the taxi. This is. Bravo, that way you're on Alpha, you can stay on Alpha all the way to the end. There you go. That's all traffic. Columbia is clear of the active 19 runway. That's all traffic. There's the wind sock. Yep. And there's the vast, the pappies, all right, the, the right there on the left hand side, you see those red boxes? Yep. If you have two reds and two whites, that's exactly where you're going to land. So if you're coming in and you see right. the red, red, Two reds, you're too low, two whites, you're too high. Uh, yep. Or four whites, you're, four reds too low, four yep. whites too high. And two reds, two whites, you're just right on it. So that's where you're going to land, right down in there, so I know where it's going to do. So what we do is we're going to take off and do, a, do another landing on one nine just so you can see because this is a lot wider than Columbia County also. It's uh, 50 feet wider than Columbia County. There you got the stuff. Yep. And now you can see that you're on taxiway Alpha. See the black sign there? And the one nine is one nine is ahead. Okay. So come here. Now we're just going to get ourselves ready. Let's all traffic. Uh, 2305 Tango is entering left down with runway one nine. Full stop. Let's fall. Make sure. Do you want to lean in again or? Uh, the one we get out there? No, it's just, it does All right, so uh, should we pull up? Yes, yeah, switch, switch, switch tanks, yeah. Good. There you go. Now what happens, now you're going to get ready for your next leg. Okay, so <coughs> leg. Okay, so. We're going to do a takeoff and landing here just so you get used to doing this big runway here, okay? All right, so we know when we take off, our heading is going to be 184. Okay. Okay. So just to, just announce, just say, uh, uh, Columbia County, I mean, uh, Glens Falls, 3 3 4 I'm departing, 1 9, staying in the pattern. We're going to do one touch and go. Okay. Off we go. Glens Falls, 3 3 uniform, departing runway 1 9, staying in the pattern. There you go. Now just stay in there, check me, there's nobody coming here. Yep. You have to really listen because the jet jacks here, what they do is they don't care, they just say, I'm coming straight in runway 1. You know, so you have to watch out for airplanes. So now it's a big wide runway.
actually wider than Columbia County. Really? Yep. Now just let it roll straight ahead. Oh, okay. So, there you go. Take it off. Okay. Okay. We got full power. All right. Everything's in the green. Look at it, the far end of the Air runway. Airspeed's alive. Look at the far end of the runway. This one picks up a lot slower. Yep. Yank the nose up like I do with... Well, traffic zero, five, choose, tangle, choose your arm. Yes, it's the best one we have. It's most power. Now, you're 184. If you take off, it's pretty much straight ahead. You know, that's, that's oh, the yeah. thing. That's the beauty about this trip here. I know I'm down. It's just straight ahead. Back in the back in the 30s and 40s, when they're flying, they had to get down to see the water towers and then they'll find out what's going on. Final 19, full stop, Glenn Fall. We're not taking off directly over trees. Yeah, now you can take off. Right, Ted Tubby on the crosswind. The is approximately 10 mile or 10 minutes inbound to the southwest. We'll be uh, heading up for runway 22, Fall Harbor Unicom. Glens Falls, 3-3 uniform, turning crosswind, runway 19. Glens Falls, 3-3 uniform, turning downwind, runway 19. Glenswalls traffic 05, Tango is clear in all runways on Bravo to the ramp, Glenswalls. Can I just uh, bring your flaps up and just enter regular down, regular down one, okay? Just bring your flaps up. Okay. Okay. Now just like Great Barrington Airport, just there it is right there. There's the runway, pick your points for your, your base and your final. Don't get too close. Give yourself plenty of room on the down. Give yourself plenty of room on the down one. Okay, got your landing checklist, and we're just going to do a touch and go. Okay. We're going to head right on out to Great Barrington. Glens Falls, 3-3 uniform, turning final, runway 19. Uh, look at your speed now. Yep, I saw that. Second. I see you, I see you way high, because I've been pretty power off. That's this, that's this. Now, take, take an awful, man, you got an awful lot of trip up here. And I do is just see this third runway line past the numbers one nine. What you want to do is just do this. He's flying, got the airplane. Now fly right to that third not line and past the numbers one numbers one nine. Speed's good, just relax. Fly right to that one, that third line past one nine. See this? Fly to a specific spot. Fly right to the third line. No, third line, nice and easy. Don't pump it. No, third line. Fly right down. 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 Now you can break. No, see there you go. Now a little early. There you go. Now nah, that's how you do it. Okay, hold that. Don't pump it. Just hold it off nice and easy. Hold it off. Pull it back. 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 Pull, 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 pull. There you go. You got, you got, you got to watch it. You got to watch that. The attitude, you know, you, you lift it up, the wind could caught you there, okay? That was very weird. Yep. Okay, off we go. 
Laconia traffic. Uh, Let's try one more here, okay? Because uh, what happens is you, get, you, you, you kept yourself in way too close. You have to set yourself up on a, a wider downwind base and final pickout points. And then when I'm final, because you know when you come up here by yourself, I got to make sure that you can. Uh, it's a it's a tricky runway because it's so wide. And what happens is you get to the point where you can uh, you know you you uh, uh, get uh, level off way too soon. All the airplanes. So that's why I said you fly it right to that point and you hold it right there until you just get above the runway. Then you just look at the far wide runway. You got all kinds of runway. You're not used to such a wide runway. Did you say you want to do another one? Yeah, I, know. I want to do one more just okay. for. Line Smalls, 3 3 uniform, turning crosswind, runway 1 9. I gotta say, it's weird getting used to a new plane, too. Yep. It's like starting all over on day one again. Glens Falls, 3-3 uniform, turning downwind, runway 1-9. So give, give yourself some room. Give yourself some room. Give yourself plenty of room. At Great Barrington, I try not to go out as far. Yeah, but the, the problem is this is a wide runway, so what happens is that you think you're you're uh, further out than you are, but actually closer. Okay. Okay. There you go. There you go. There you go. And level off your thirteen hundred. I kind of got to get there. Lens Falls, FAA man is clear on the ramp. Lens Falls. That's a truck. Oh, there's a guy in there. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about him. You call the pattern. If he's not ready to go, then, then you're... Okay, but see, he's being drifted in towards you, turning in there. So what you want to do is you want to pick a point. Those those mountains out there. Flying right, see that in the farm right there? Flying to that point. There you go. Now I can... Power and heat on. Power and heat on. Oh, I'm getting used. Power, power below 2,000. Things are not where they belong, right? There, there, there. Now, good. Now, just go ahead. There you go. Now, just go ahead and put your flag on this. Okay, now turn your base leg. Okay, now, but, but. Glens Falls, 3-3 three, three uniform, turning base, runway 1-9. Okay, now, just pick the spot where you want to, just relax. Pick the spot oh. where you want to land, okay? I want to land on the third runway line, okay? So, just watch the nose, nice and easy. Nice and easy, all the way around. Watch. the power back just a little bit. There you go. Now you can put your third notch down. Glens Falls, 3-3 uniform, turning final, runway 1-9. When you do this, fly to airport, you're doing a lot of this here. I know, I, I'm having, I, I'm struggling yeah, to yeah, see yeah, the things yeah. I want to oh, see because okay, they're okay. in a different spot. Okay, okay. okay so th that's my fault. Okay, no, so okay, there right. it is. Okay, so there it is. You got the airplane. It's nicely stabilized. Now, see that? that third runway line, that's what you're looking at, okay? Now just fly the airplane right to that. If it gets steeper, just bring the power back and lower the nose. It gets steeper, so you gotta bring the power back a little bit. Bring it, just fly the airplane. So there, there, now fly it right to that third third runway line. That's what you have to do with whenever, you know, now you head towards one nine, okay, whatever you want. Fly to a specific spot on the runway. Right there, now hold it right there. No, no, don't, don't. Nice and easy. There you go. That's how you do it. There, very nice. Okay, give it full power, and off we go. And heading is 184. The time is 35. Okay. Okay, so here you go. So it's, it's pretty much straight ahead. Is the um, is the trip? Uh, Precessed a little bit now. Lance Falls traffic, Skyhawk, entering 1-9 uh, for departure. Be uh, departing to the south. Right over that tower? Uh, there's the, uh, no, you want to go to one heading at 184. 
There's the river, and you guys follow the river right now. See that mountain? That's that dark mountain we saw way off in the distance the other way, see? So this heading of 184 is looking pretty good, because on the way up, the mountain was on the left-hand side. We saw that dark mountain. Remember on the way up, we saw that dark mountain? A little bit. That, that's that dark mountain. You see the Hudson River right here? So you got to go to your heading of 184. There's heading 184. Just hold it right here, okay? Okay, now we're going to contact Albany because of the, uh, 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 32 -8. No, I do. So what I would do is, on a day like today, I just climb it. Uh, don't climb at 80. Climb at 90. Okay, it gives okay. you bring your flaps and, uh, up. Approach jet like 307 is one four thousand. So you can see, you can see better. Oh, you want to, you want to be able to see. There you go. I climb it like 95 to 100. Three seven. Albany. Here. Will do. Jet like Okay, so now he's just going to contact Albany. He's just going to Albany, Cherokee 5732 uniform. He's going to come back 32 uniform. Just departed Glens Falls via part of Great Barrington, climbing to 4.5. That's all you got to say. Yep. Contact Albany Tower. I'm not registering everything. Oh, okay. So just remember, who, who, who are you calling? Who are you? And what do you want? So it's all I get that. I just can't. I'm not remembering where I am, oh. what I want to do. Because oh, good afternoon. I haven't done it yep, yep. repeatedly. We have repeatedly so. One, uh, so in this case here, you just go so Albany, one, one Tower. No, no, no. Just listen to me. Not so greater. It's just Albany, Cherokee 5733 Uniform. He's going to say 33 Uniform. Go ahead. 33 Uniform just departed Glens Falls. VFR to Great Barrington. Climbing to 4.5, request advisories, okay? Okay. 991 Mike Alpha, level 7, direct Burlington. Okay. Answer 991 Mike Alpha, Albany approach, Albany altimeter 3019. Good. Albany, Cherokee 5733 three, uniform, just departed Glens Falls. Oops. Yep. No, I missed him again. He'll come, he'll come on, that's fine. Cherokee 5733 three, uniform, Albany approach. Dave, Roger, departed Glens Falls, Great Barrington, 4.5. Roger, departing Glens Falls, headed to Great Barrington, climbing to uh, 4,500. Cherokee 3-3, three, three, uniform squad 4316. 4316, Roger. 4316. Okay, now you got to keep those wings low. I was looking at uh, Yeah, yeah, just hold it right there. You just want to keep those wings low. 4316. Albany approach, Gulfstream 518, Kilo Alpha, 1, 1,000. Gulfstream 518, Kilo Alpha, Now look Alpha, at the lower the nose. See this here? Zero, see the river? Nine, you're going, supposed to go right down the river. See, you're going right down the river, just like you're supposed to. And see that dark mountain off in the distance? Hey, Kilo Alpha has the uh, weather so, at... Actually, see, this at heading's looking pretty good. Yeah. requesting the RM5 via Walter. I was trying to wander back yeah. to the, the 184. Well, don't worry about the 184. It's more important. It's visual. Yeah, it's more important to see that I'm actually going down the river. See this here? Right. See the see the highway right down there? Going right down the river, right down there. That's where I want. Right there. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. The visual yep. cues are more and important. If you look down there, that big mountain way down there. That's that's North Adams. That's where North Adams is right there. Pittsfield's just south of that. See that big mountain way off in the distance? Yeah. That's North Adams. Just to the end of it is Pittsfield. Great Barrington is 12 o'clock. In a few minutes, you're going to be able to see the hills of Great Barrington. Trust me. Yeah, and Albany, they all finished uh, parachuting at that airport. Number 33 Uniform Affirmative. Okay, thank you. Cherokee 33 Uniform Radar, contact six miles south of the Glens Falls Airport, Albany, altimeter 3019. 3019, Roger. 3019, Roger. So put 3019 in the altimeter. Okay. Eight kilo off, let's turn left to right. And now as I'm climbing out, here's Saratoga Lake, see this? Kilo. Saratoga Lake, you see that? See, see this, where this is? See that? It's got that river, that park coming out? See that? Okay. Coming out there, okay? Uh, 3,000 feet, just lower your nose and just see where, the air, see where you're going. Lower your nose and just see where you're going. Don't, don't be afraid. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. okay. Still straight over the river? Yep, looks good. Yep. And actually, I can see the hills of Great Bering. What uh, time did you say we left? Uh, we left at uh, 35. 35, so uh, 9.5, so 45, almost 45. Yep, there's a T in the river. Okay. There's that airport right down here. See that? You see the runway? Yes, now I do. Yep, yep. Okay. It's a very hard airport to find. Jeff would you like vectors for defense? 
So again, there's a lot when you do a cross country. It's uh, not just what I need here, but you gotta listen to ATC, you gotta put people together, and you have to do like I said, I say like, I got this up, it's off my nose right there. Uh, next thing I do, I'll see Albany here shortly. But I can see North Adams, worst comes worst, I can head right to North Adams, down Pittsfield, Route 7. So that city right there is North Adams, that town? Or no, the mountain? That's right here, see this town right here? That's North Adams? No, 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 no. Okay. Here's North Adams. Oh, okay. See those way, those way, way out? Yeah. That's, that is North Adams. That's Mount Greylock in North Adams. That's what I thought you meant yeah, the yeah, first yeah, time, yeah. but then when you just said oh, it again, okay. I thought yeah. you oh, meant... Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. like... Yeah, no, no, I'm sorry. That's my fault. Albany approach, Cessna 4398, Romeo. Cessna 4398, Romeo, Albany approach. Okay, so... Albany approach. As we get down here, we want to be a little bit left to the river. Uh, not quite. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're going to start getting over to the Tatian River. Route to Iceland, like flight following. Cessna 4, Paran 98, Romeo, say requested altitude. I'm leaving 3,500, going to 6,500. Uh, 98 Romeo, squawk 2027. 2027, 4398 Romeo. Blue 88, Albany Airport, 1 o'clock, 1 3 miles. Got the airport inside, Jeff Blue 88. Blue 88, clear visual approach, runway 1. Clear visual runway 1, Jeff Blue 88. Okay, There's the T in the river right down here. See the two towns? This Air town here and that town there? So you're doing good. There is one six, would you come in bound? Carter two, full stop, field corner. Greater one six, clock four, three, three, four. Forty three, thirty four, greater one six. But don't let the nose come up like that. Call the first customer. Jet nine six three. What's it doing? One zero thousand. Jet nine six three, Albany approach, Albany altimeter three zero one nine eight. One nine eight, thanks. Custom jet nine six three, same intention. So you're checking way more frequently yeah, than the, the points. Yeah, oh yeah, you, yeah, you have to because I go here and I, know, I have no idea where I am. I want to know exactly where I am. And see this river here? I should be a town. See the river right here? There's a town right there, okay? Come down here, the river's down here. You got two towns to the right here. As you come down here, two bigger towns to the right here. As I come down here. 963, Roger. Blue contact tower 119.5. Okay, 19.5, Jeff Blue 84. 16 radar contact 15 miles southwest of the Albany Airport. Albany altimeter 3019.5, the corner 2 inbound. Corner 2 inbound, corner 2 inbound. Gotta hold your heading 184. Hold the heading on 184. There you go. Now just trim it out. Now, see those clouds way, way off in the distance? Yep. Look straight Number down. You see those hills? Those are the hills Romeo. of Great Barrington. I can uh, see Mount Everett, you know, about just down by Berkshire School where you do the turns on the point. I see mountains. I'm going to take your word. Those, those, those I'm just showing you. That's it, because you're only uh, 60 miles. That's North the, uh, Adams, Pittsfield, and Great Barrington. But you see how the P Hudson River goes off to the right? That's what I want to see. See the Hudson River goes right? That's what I want to see. One o'clock, two miles, Cherokee, 4,500. Okay, there's a guy coming up on us here. Okay, I'll keep a lookout. Turn a little bit to the left. Roger. I can see here. There's this. Albany approach 1713, Victor. We'd like to start our VFR descent. Number 717, correction, 1713, Victor. Okay, so now this is when you level. You've got to just check your compass in your gyro. You've just got to hold it steady for a second. Altitude and it says right now the compass is saying to... You gotta, you gotta hold the wings up. Hold the hold, hold nose down here. It's just like that. Let it stable. One, two, three, four. It's showing about uh, 200 right now. There you go. And now you want you heading about 185. Close to 518. Kilo off. Look at lower. 185. Stream 518. Kilo off. Descending maintain 5000. See the river right there? Okay, so there's your checkpoint. We said 45. Look at that. 45. 45. So you gotta write your time down so you can know what your next checkpoint time is. So. You're just, no, you're just, you're just, no, just take the map here, put it over here, because the seat will be empty. 45. So. Oh, it's going to be uh, 54, next one, okay? Now, look straight ahead, you can start to see the lake. You see the lake way off in the distance? Okay, that's the lake here. We're supposed to hit the southern end of it. So you've been holding this heading here, see? The southern end of the lake is off to the left. See that? So I want to turn, hold your heading 184. There you go. There you go. There you go.
So it's so important to hold the headings. And if I hold the heading, if I don't see where I am, I could, you know, if I was way off over there, I'm still supposed to be over to Hudson River until I get to this, these towns tower, here. One, this is where you see, like, you're, you're past the towns, and now we're still over the river. Uh, we're supposed three, to be on the other side of the river right now. So that tells me my heading is a little too much to the right. There you go. There you go. Albany approach, Cessna 68195. Cessna 68195, Albany approach. Cessna 68195 is approximately 15 miles to the south of Albany International, 2500. We'd like to request touch and goes at Albany. Now you can see the lake straight ahead? Yep. Okay, and what's up here? Exactly, side. yep, that's good. So now this way you say, like, how does, now hold your heading 184, there's 184, now just hold it steady, so how does this heading look? Because now I'm going to see if the drift, if I hold the heading, I see him drifting this way here, I need to turn to the right. If I see him drifting this way here, I need to turn to the left, but see this heading 184? It's looking pretty good, and I'm heading right to where I'm supposed to be at the end of that lake, see this? All the way at the end of the lake, right here. I'm picking the clouds, like, right up yep, there, that, yep, that, yep, exactly, that yep. little bubble. Yep. How long many approach for touching ghost again? But you got to just keep in mind the lake and everything else. Albany approach, that's a 68195, 15 miles south of Albany International, 2500, request touch and goes at Albany. That's a 68195, spot 4324. 4324, that's a 68195. There we go. And now this is where it's important on these first couple checkpoints. If I see that these heading is working, I know that it's roughly good, okay? The problem is there's no zero real three, good zero, uh, you know, uh, checkpoints because it's all woods from here. Right up. Okay. Across ball two, outer about 3,000, clear down everyone way five approach, Saratoga Airport. I know that the clouds are moving all that well, so uh, I see that little V cloud up there, just right alpha, just three just back right. towards that one there. That's okay, okay copy that, and uh, we have the field side as well, I eight kilo. We're eight kilo alpha, Roger, would you like the visual? Yes, sir, a question visual. Officer, eight kilo alpha, cleared visual approach, Saratoga Airport. Look for the visual approach, Saratoga, runway 5, 518, kilo. Albany approach, Southwest 652, passing 16,000 for 11,000. So 652, Albany approach, Albany on cemetery 3019. There's two towns right down there? Yep. Okay, 39. Because I can tell, Southwest. because see, one has got that little island, see the islands in the middle? Yep. Like, see that? You got the islands in the middle of the, 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 the river. Bridge, runway one. Islands in the middle between Visual the two. One, so I know 50 exactly 50 where 50. I am. Uh, six eight one nine or five radar contact one four miles south of the Albany Airport. Albany altimeter three zero one nine or make straight in runway one. Three zero one nine or straight in zero one six eight one nine or five. I think I'd be more comfortable with picking things like to the left and the right than directly under me, because every time you got to... Oh, well, no, you know, you know that, you know, the time, we know the time is going to be, what, 52 or 50, right, 50. I know that the data is, that I can see the lakes here, right, we can go but sometimes you, you, now. Can, you can't tell that town there, you know, you can pick something like this town, these two towns, if you want, you usually turn around trying to pick something underneath it. Frequent change for have a good day. You turn, see you later. All ready to depart, your left net 72 just off the med center. Left net 72, Albany approach, side down, Albany altimeter 3019. 3019, left net 72, requesting 315 back to Glen, New York. Now take a look, just set up there like this. You don't have to bother. See that? This heading is taking you right to the edge of the lake down there, see that? So you're in good shape. And I know that at 52, I should be, whatever, 50, 58, I should be pretty much right over the end of the lake. And I take a look down here. See this here? Here's Bennington, Vermont. See this here's Bennington right here? See the city over there, way against the mountains there? Okay. That's Bennington, Vermont. And the airport is, you can't just see it. It's just disappearing Let's behind the hill there. Heading 120, sector for the uh, visual approach runway 1. 120, south of 652. Where's Bennington on the map here? Uh, right here. Bennington okay. right there. See? There you can see the, the uh, Washington Monument in the center of the town there. 
You can see it. I yeah, still can. Innocent. I mean, <laughs> you see the town up against the mountain? Yeah. See that thing vertical in the middle of it? I just don't see. You don't see that thing that's vertical it's, uh, between the just. You got the southern part of town, the southern north part of town. There's a thing that's vertical. That's all right. No, I'm just. I'm it's looking. Okay. I just it's can't. Okay. okay, it's okay. I'm sure after I see it once, it'll yep. stick out like a sore thumb. Yep. Yep. Now you're coming up here. Here's another. Uh, and I'll over here. There's another little river. Nine, six, three, this little river right here. Get a, uh, this little river right here. See the little river right here? Yep. I'm jet 963. Just going to maintain 8,000. I gotta start studying the uh, sectionals so I can. Yeah. Now also here, see that see that little race track, see that race track right there, the oval. The oh, oval yeah, yeah. right there. I saw that on the right up. See, see the school there. Delta Mike, Albany approach. See, 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 this, see the oval school. Okay. Okay. Three zero one nine and we're going Now if you look straight ahead, all just off the nose to the right, those last bumpy sure, hills. That's hills of Great Barrington. Really? Yep. Nine six three, turn right, direct Athos, join Victor one twenty three. Right, direct to ASO, so we'll join Victor And that's reasonable, because I see this heading is pretty good. I know I'm pretty much right on course. So now you can, can you see the hills way off to the right of the nose? You see the yep. up and up? That's Berkshire, the Great Barrington Airport is just by, beside that. Cap 606. So uh, now you have something to look forward to, you know, because uh, up here is the wooded uh, area, you know, and there's right. not much to look at. But on a clear day, I can see that. Now you can right off the nose. You see the, you see the woods, you can see the quarry. To the right here, you to maintain you the see the green field right off the nose? Yep. Just go to the right, you see that little opening in the middle of the woods? That's the quarry. The quarry right down here? Okay. But I mean, if all else, and I kind of lost my bearings or whatever, that mountain is going to... Yeah, if I keep going that way, I'm going to see something I recognize. Yeah, because I've just heard it. Just, just see this head, that's why it's so important. I, 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 I'm looking as far as again. This heading, I know that Great Barrington is here. Those are the hills of the Berkshire because that's it. But there's North Adams right here. So here's North Adams Mount Greylock. See that? It's supposed to be off my side. Here's the mouse with the cheese in the tail. You'll see that in a minute. No. Looks uh, kind of different coming contact. this way, yep. too, so... Yeah, approach 132.75. 3275, seal. Number 68195, contact tower, 246 Delta Mike, uh, requesting lower. There's 246 Delta Mike, have your request standby. Hey, okay, we're coming up on the end of the lake. Yep, hey, we got, uh, we got another couple of minutes because we said, uh, 54, 54, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, Who's that for? That's like 606 traffic, 10 o'clock, one mile southwest bound, type in altitude unknown. There's six Delta Mike, just to maintain 5,100. 5,100 for six Delta Mike. Alright, so the next big one's gonna be. I see now, see, we're running out of map. I don't okay. need this. I don't need this part map up here, so now I'm gonna go back. Just these maps and charts have a way of really opening up and filling up your world there. So now you're back up at this end here, right at the lake. Okay. Yeah, flight 606 traffic, no factor contact, Bradley approach 125.35. Now here's, here's a little thing, see? I'm holding this heading 184, right? See that little smoke? Yep. It's off to my left. As long as that's there, and I know I'm on course, that smoke here, is a good thing. And there's the wind, okay? But it shows me that, you know, as long as I'm keeping that open field and the smoke off to my left side, I'm in good shape. If I, I'm heading towards Great Barrington, the smoke was off to my left, and now it's like this here, now that's that's just using outside references to the uh, most of your ability. Right. Hey, there's the quarry right down there. Okay. okay. Looks like they just blasted. There you go. And there you go. Now if you look at what right here at the quarry right here. See all these little lakes down here? You can start to see all the little lakes off the right-hand side. See these? All these little things down here? Yep. Okay. Okay.
Albany Approach, Chronos 568, 9500 with request. Chronos 568, Albany Approach, Albany Altimeter, 3019 or say request. 3019 or we're via part 9500 into 5 Bravo 2. Uh, we got some training we need to do, so we just need to do some air work in this vicinity. Um, if that's if what tell me an altitude you need 9500, if we can get like you know a thousand above, a thousand below, that'd be great. Chronos 568, and you want to do that in your present position? Uh, wherever it's convenient for you. We can go a little further north, uh, whatever's convenient for you. Chronos 568, Roger. Expect that, and then two zero miles. We'll expect that at two zero miles, Chronos 568. We're going to cancel IFR at this time. 246 Delta Mike canceling IFR. There's 246 Delta Mike to verify you're canceling IFR at this yeah. time. Uh, I can tell it because IFR, see the road right between, you see the road, you see that there's town? There's 246 Delta Mike, right between the lakes there and the town right there. Good. 6 Delta Mike, thank you. Southwest 652, just going to maintain 3,500 Albany Airport, 10 o'clock, 1, 2 miles. 3,500 uh, Airport, right, Southwest 652. Southwest 652, contact tower, or correction, clear visual approach on my one, contact tower 119.5. Clear visual 19.5, Southwest 652, today. Is that your mouse and cheese over there? Yes, mouse and cheese. Exactly. Flight 972, radar service is terminated. If you took a look, it's down here. Mount Greylock is coming up here right here. Mount Greylock should be just off our left-hand side. See Mount Greylock? Mount Greylock. Okay. See the windmills along Brody? And the one mic alpha contact, Boston Center, 135. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now you see the little to the right. You see the ski trails of, of Jiminy Peak. See the ski trails coming down the mountain? The white, green, the green lines coming down? A little down. bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. And, then, and you got the one, tur one turbine. So now I know where I am. I got that. Pittsfield is right there, so Great Barrington's got to be right down there at the end of the valley. Got to hold you 184, though. Got yeah. to hold you 184. The biggest thing is when you see that the heading has worked, you shouldn't have to go either side more than three or four or five degrees at most. Is yeah, that it's just when I start looking all over like yep, that, yep, and just yep, sort of. Yep. Just got to remember to correct right when I get back. Yep. Okay, so next well, thing. I'm keeping that long distance yep. site is yep. what I'm really keeping. Yeah, that's what you I'm want. I'm checking, but that's my long, the that, longer distance is the most steady route. That's because we know where we are, okay? And then also, that's the same thing on landing. If you land on the runway, if you're keeping it, like, watch this, see my heading's way off? I just, all I need is just a little bit to get lined up with that mountain there. If I look right over the nose, I'm doing this here, you know, I'm just trying to line it up with the nose. Oh, too much, not enough. This way here, I just nice and easy. Next thing we're looking for is the power lines, okay? The power lines are a big swath. In the, in the Midwest, they're hard to see because it's all flat and corn, you know, you can't see them. But this Albany area here, here is going to be a big Golf swath Bravo. Cut right between the trees. There's 756 Golf Bravo, Albany Approach. Let's see 756 Golf Bravo. We'd like to go ahead and cancel IFR now. There's 756 Golf Bravo, IFR cancellation received, and do you want to keep flight following? Uh, negative, we're going to do a leg tour, so we'll uh, go back to VFR if that works for you. 756 Golf Bravo. There's six for Golf Bravo, uh, Squawk VFR, radar services terminated, change of advisory frequency approved. Thanks for your help, thanks Golf Bravo. Now you can see the hills great barrington pretty good. Oh yeah. yeah. And that's what you're doing. You're looking at using a long-term vision. And then now you can see, here you go, all these lakes here to the right. See, all these little lakes right to the right. There they are right there. See all the little lakes to the right. So we should be coming up on the uh, power lines in the next couple yep. of minutes. Yep, yep. Now if I look down there, you can see the Hudson River way down there. You see the two silver things way Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's Columbia County. Just I'm just showing you these. I know where it is. I'm just right. pointing it out. There's the Hudson River. Uh, there's Columbia County. That's where they got the big island, just where the big zip on both Main sides of the VFR island. Block, there. That's, good. Yeah, that's Columbia yeah, County, for, uh, Great Barrington. Barrington. Pittsfield's going to be just on the other side of Jiminy Peak. North Adams is right off my wing. Airport right off my wing. Airport right off my wing. Airport right there. Airport right off my wing. Airport right there. 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 Airport and maintain present heading. Now you start to see... 835, I'm going to 5,000. What was the last part of that transmission? 
After this Number range, 20, you, see that, you see that dark range President in the middle of the valley? Yep. Yeah, that's Moscow's ski area coming down. Approach to the one point forty two ninety five is this, I'm just trying to open your eyes to see as Romeo. much as you can. Void 4295, Albany approach, Albany altimeter 3018, fly heading 120, vector for the visual approach, runway 1, descend to maintain 4000. Right heading 120 for visual, runway 1, down to 4000, on Void 4295. Jet 963, contact Boston Center 134.3. 343, custom jet 1943 Quebec. Number 1493 Quebec. 1943 Quebec, sir. We are assessing 177 in Andrew, about uh, four miles south of uh, Glen Falls, climbing to 6500. Uh, direct ice club India Sierra Papa, request a flight follow if possible. Is this the power lines coming up here? This yep. sort of exactly. Yep. Down deal? Uh, well, no, no, it's, it's a bigger spot. Say, is, is that a road? Or is that's a road. It up, see, also, how do I okay, we're so so one I think I see it up there right off the... See this? See that lake right there? The power lines go from the middle of that lake right across. So we haven't gotten to that lake there, but you'll see the power lines coming right. See the swath cut through the wood there? It's the next swath. Now you can see the tower down there. See the silver things in the middle of the woods right off here? Seven. I'll point it at notes, just off the nose to the left. Seven, three, six, seven, back. Yep, yep. That's the tower I tried to show you before. And okay. That's, that's why. That's why. Said, that's why I said I'm going to use that tower. Towers are impossible to see. Towers are never really good to use unless they're the big thousand foot ones oh, with the lights on. Never. I could see that tower because I know it is, but you could never see it. Okay. And where we're supposed to be? Look at that. We're supposed to be just there. Where is it? Just there. Just behind that is what? Power lines. So this is positive identification. There's and there's a ski area right there. You can see a, a ski area right there. So this next big swamp. You see, it says right here, ski area with wind turbines. Ski area, Army wind turbines. Two zero eight three five. But this is all 000. stuff that you use it just to make yourself. Five, five, five. Welcome to the Berkshires. Cessna 43 Quebec radar contact, five miles south of the Glens Falls Airport, opening altimeter 3018. So this is just like that, you know, ski area, wind turbine, looks good. I'm here, okay. Nobody Pittsfield is going to be right there. You can start to see the city of Pittsfield and the Pittsfield Airport shortly. And I got these big lakes here with the power lines cut right across Romeo, there. Roger. All right, yeah, now the power lines are a little more obvious. The last one I saw was a road cut yeah, through. Yeah, but yeah, well that's what I say. Sometimes in certain parts of the country, power lines, you know, they're in open areas and they're hard to see. In this area here, in the wintertime, they're really easy to see because it's a big white swath because the snow fills in there. And again, there's Columbia County right down there. Right across here is the hills of Berkshire. Now, as I approach Great Barrington, the hills are going to start disappearing into the landscape, so I'm not going to see the hills anymore. There's the Pittsfield Airport. See the Pittsfield Airport coming right up over, see, between the mountains there? Okay. See that, see that brown patch? Yeah. There's the, G, there's the GE building in Pittsfield right there, and there's the city of Pittsfield right there. Hmm. And you can see how this power line here sits, watch it, look at this, see this power line here? Cuts right across, it goes through the mountain on the other side. See, see how it cuts right across there? See how it cuts through the mountain on the other side? Yep. So Pittsfield's over that ridge. Yeah, yes, Pittsfield's over the ridge. Yeah, I mean, now you can start to see the Pittsfield Airport right there. See the base yeah. of the, okay? So today is just opening up. You just don't look here. Right. I want to, on a day like today, I want to see, like, if I have an emergency, the closest airport is Pittsfield right there. I'm just going to buck it right to Pittsfield, and I can land straight in on runway 14. I mean, you couldn't make the airport from here, could you? Oh, we couldn't glide, but okay. if, we, if the engine started making noise, or right. just, if, I did. You had any warning? Yeah. Although, I would probably, in reality, I'd probably choose where we're here. I may choose Columbia County because see that's nothing but mountain and woods over there. Right. On the other side, I got all this. A lot open. more fields in yeah, between. Yeah. It'd be a close call because I got all these open fields in here, anyways. But once I, you know, I climb. First of all, I climb as high as I could before the uh, the impending engine uh, failure. Okay. And all right. So the next one we'd be looking for would be uh, the next big one. And that's oh, oh, we didn't mark our time, did we? Actually, I don't know what we're at tonight. To say because the next one's going to be the I 90. Oh, we just passed it about a minute ago. So, we're, what time were we supposed to pass it? 
Um, a four after. Yeah, no, well, that's about to rain. Three we, after? About, that's what it was, about four minutes because we're about to win stuff. How many approach call? Pretty much right on time. Two, one, four thousand for that's one, right, one so thousand important with the when you do that, you write down the times. Okay. Frederick, uh, Albany clearance are one, two, seven point five. Okay, so next one is uh, going to be 12, 12 minutes after. Six Let me get 142, ago. Albany approach. Albany altimeter, three, zero, one, eight. Expect a visual approach. Three, zero, one, eight. We'll expect that. And if you know the area, there's Pitchfield. Okay, and then uh, there, there's the power, uh, Route 20 there, cutting across there. And there's the I can see the Mass heading. Pike coming up here shortly. Cessna 1713, Victor, Albany, departure radar contact. Turn left heading 280, VFR altitude, your discretion. Left turn 280, altitude, our discretion. 1713, Victor. Getting a little bumpy. Envoy 4295, Sunday, 3000, Albany Airport, 10 o'clock, 10 miles. 3000, inside 4295. Envoy 4295, clear visual purge, runway 1, contact tower 119.5, good day. Clear visual runway 1, over to tower 195, Envoy 4295, good day. Columbia 142, clear direct Columbia County, descend and maintain 10,000. Direct Columbia County, down to 10,000, clear visual 42. Five sixty eight VFR altitude is at your discretion. There's traffic maneuvering uh, below you, altitude in case three thousand four hundred. Roger that. Uh, maintain the block between eight and ten. Chronos five sixty eight. VFR altitude is your discretion. You can do whatever altitude you like. Just let you know there is traffic below you at thirty five. Altitude our discretion. Thank you, Chronos five sixty eight. Albany approach at afternoon, November three, Delta Zulu. Number three, Delta Zulu, Albany approach. Ident Albany altimeter three zero one eight. Quichi Lake. Three zero one eight. Three Delta Zulu. Number 13 Vector, proceed on course. Uh, on further. course for 171 Vector. Thanks, guys. Number 13 Vector, radar contact, right uh, five miles yeah, southwest the of the uh, Grunfall right Airport, right Captain. Now, Captain. I'm right over it. Position check, 3,000. You can see it. 8,000. Yeah, yeah. Suburbs over Heaver. And a call will advise oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, one minute out. Pretty easy. Correct. Thank you. And there's the 22 uh, interchange on the Mass Pike down there. See the, all the woods in that open area down there on the bend? That's the 22 uh, truck stop. Huh. I, I used to do pool dancing there, 2 o'clock in the morning. Now, this is wintertime. You can see Catamount. In wintertime, you'd be able to see the skis, ski, uh, ski tricks at Catamount and also Butternut Basin, because Butternut Basin is right there. And there's, this is an easy airport to find in the wintertime from north. There's the Pittsfield Airport. Albany Road, Skyhawk, 19687, with request. Yeah, Pittsfield's obvious now. Skyhawk, 19687, Albany Pro, request. Skyhawk, 19687, we just put Schenectady, uh, currently 1,500. We're looking to pick up VFR flight following, if possible. Uh, we'd just like to do a quick flyby over the city and kind of head back uh, over to Schenectady. One nine or six eight seven. That's Queechee Lake. Three, two, that's Queechee Lake. Yep. And how do I know it's Pittsfield? Look, I got at the end of the runway. I got that round pond. Then up here, I got Oneida and Pond Two Six. See that? The two lakes. All right, four three eight two. And here's right. This is this is the underground pipeline. Four three two six. It goes see the see the swampy woods. Four three two six. That's the underground. It doesn't show it here, but it's the underground pipeline that goes from the west coast to the east coast. Okay, now if you look straight ahead, see the big uh, big mountain, 12 o'clock? Yep. See the base of it? That's Baldwin Hill. That's when you take off. That's where you make our cross turn. Six, eight, seven, turn just a little bit to the left. The the first open area. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So you got uh, a situation on the second catamount. Baldwin Hill is the silver things there, and that's where we are as a German crossway. They're using 2-9. I'm going to head right this way, and I've heard of Baldwin Hill on the crossway. Just let me know when you're done there. To the left, that open area is the airport. We'll let you know where we're done. One hundred six eight seven. Okay, so now you can tell Albany to say, Albany, uh, Cherokee 5732 Farm has Great Barrington in sight. Thank you for your help. Albany, Cherokee 5733 Uniform has Great Barrington in sight. Thank you for your help. He's going to come back to you. Calling Albany approach again. Say again. Albany, uh, Cherokee 5733 Uniform has Great Barrington in sight. Thank you for your help today. 
333 Uniform Roger Radar Service Terminated Squawk via Fire Change Advisor Frequency is approved. Roger, Squawk 1200. Roger, Squawk 1200. Good. Now, Coming to Jet 142, descending in 10 4000. That means he wants you to, that's via Fire. 1000, Squawk 142. And now you go right to the Great Barrington's Frequency. Or an AWAS if we had it. So that just. 228. 28. And now you're just going to tell me 10 miles north inbound. And then they'll, they'll give me an advisory. Just say Great Barrington, 3 3 uniform, 10 miles north inbound. Great Barrington, 3 3 uniform, 10 miles north uh, inbound. 3 3 uniform, welcome back. Altimeter is 3024. And we're going to call this time. No other report is back. Okay, just say Roger, wind comms, no, tra no traffic. Roger, winds calm, no traffic. Okay, does Did she say 3034? Uh, no, 3024. Okay. okay, now here comes your mass pike, and we said we're going to cross that at 12. Your timing has been impeccable today. So I'm a math guy. Yeah, but now Robert, see, this is why it's important, error. because if I wasn't, if I didn't see the mass pike, now I said, like, man, some, I'm somewhere's off. Right, okay. or if it wasn't, yeah. you know, a mile or two up for... Now here, I'm crossing Mass Pike, how do I know him? See, there's a town of, uh... Enter traffic, 76 Bravo Delta, 45. Here we go. Got the West Stockbridge, see the West Stockbridge right there? Five the pond right there. Okay. Then we have, uh, Lennox, Lee. There's Butternut Basin right down there. There's Looks Canada. good from here. That green field is, is uh, Baldwin Hill. And that next green field to the left is the airport. So you're right over there, right at 12. So your time is, traffic, so what time should it be over the airport? Extended downwind. Uh, eight Robert. minutes after that, so 20. Okay, 420. So that's why the timing and distance is so important because it gives you, if I didn't have any time and distance, I'd have a rough idea where I'm supposed to be, when I'm supposed to be. Uh, two canopies with traffic. Some guys, we have extra ones if you want to try it. Is there a little leg pad? And then when you're doing zero tech, now it's time to, uh, time to do that. You just put it down here, now you can write down here. Four right down here. Then you go back there. You can fly with your right hand one if you want. I, you know, I know you move a couple. Well, if I'm just doing a number or two, it's not a big deal. Yeah, yeah. I could probably do that. Or it's a This Unicom has been... I say it's crazy, but it's good for, uh, for aviation. Cause it's been, now it's up to you to determine when do I start my descent. Okay, I'm at 4,500. The pattern altitude is at uh, 1,700 feet. So yeah, I got to lose about 2,500 feet. And if I do 2,000, so let me do some math here. Uh, basically, I want to come down 500 feet a minute. I need seven minutes, so probably soon. Okay. But now, what do is now watch this. Here you're coming back from across country. So watch this here. Okay, watch this. What this is what I would do. See this? See the trim tab? Watch it. I'm going to change my take in right of foil. I'm going to take in off the road. I'm going to change my trim speed. We've been cruising at 110. Watch this. I can pick up my speed now just by putting in a little bit of down trim. This here. The nose is coming down. Now I've started a nice little descent. I do have to bring the power back because there's less resistance on the props so the RPM increases. But now it is. Look at my speed. I've increased my speed. And now I just, uh, instead of slowing it up, I'm going to around. See this here? That's all I did. I just changed my trim speed and I got a nice descent going. See this? The nose is pointed down. Yeah. Robertson traffic, Skyhawk 512 is turning left base, 20 Robertson. Your traffic would be advised, got everything in progress for the book of an airport, please use caution to have a field. Okay, so last now, round of static. Just for uh, situation awareness, you see that, that dark hill in the middle of the uh, valley down there? Yes. That's Pine Plains, New York, okay? And then if you're down that, you know, down here towards there, you go to the left, that takes you right to Milliton, New York, just south of the practice area, all the way across here, Sky Acres in that area there. These are just situational awarenesses, okay? You see that windmill way off in the distance there? On top of the plateau there? Uh, so it weighs, see, see it's, it's ahead of the wing by about two inches there. It's sitting in the middle of nowhere there. A little bit, yeah. Yep. Okay. That's the uh, windmill on the Mass Pike at Beckett Mass. So if I know where, you know, I can see this here. That's Beckett Mass, and that's the highest point in the Massachusetts Turnpike right there. The other side of that windmill with the, with the mountain's end, that's Westfield Airport. These are all just, I'm just trying to open your eyes and let you see as far, you know, people just like, they, they draw in here and I just, I need here. I'm looking all the way to hell, it's, if it's calmer, I'd show you, a little shiner, I'd show you the Ashokan Reservoir. Right. You know, it's way down there at the base of the Catskill Mountains, and that's... I guess I feel like I need to start with a narrow scope and then slowly yeah, broaden it, because yeah, yeah. 
if not, I'm like, I, I don't think I'll remember enough of what you're trying to tell me, but I gotta try. Yeah, well, no, we just like, you're gonna, oh, I think Rick said that was, you know, yeah, that's, that's about, you know, when you take off from Columbia County, it's very prominent, so that, that's Pauline New York. There you go, let me check the back up here. Okay, you have the airport in sight? Um, I do not. Okay, so go Baldwin Hill, and just go directly to the west, that east. You'll go directly east. See that two open areas right there, with the trees in the middle of it? Uh, you, can, you can start to see the airplanes coming up, 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 up behind the trees. Do the little white things on the grass that we grow. <laughs> I'm not picking it up. I should. I've seen, I've yeah, seen it enough times. But. You'll be fine. But all I know is you're doing a crosswind, right? So now I would announce to Great Barrington, hey, Great Barrington, 3 2 4 is about four miles north of the airport. I'm doing a, a crosswind uh, two miles west of the airport. That tells everybody that I'm two miles west of the airport, and I'm, I'm clear of the traffic. Okay. And I can see the airplanes in the open, that last big open field down there. Now when you do it, this will be good in the other seat here. You won't need this here once you get closer. Great Barrington traffic, 33 uniform, two miles west of the airport. North where the hell am I? West of the airport? <laughs> uh, doing a crosswind for runway 29. Doing a crosswind for runway 29. Good. So all I'm doing is see this prospect like there. All I'm doing is I'm heading, traffic, heading straight there until I get past the airport, and then now you can see the airport. See the white, air, white airplanes in the open? Yes, yes, now I do. Okay. So a lot of times you just find Baldwin Hill and just go directly to the left, is this case, or in this, the other case comes is out to the right, okay? And you can see the airport there. I was thinking it was a little farther. I was looking at. Yeah. Now you see, you see that quarry down against the mountain? That's Canaan, Connecticut down there. See that? Drop a little bit more? Yep, yep. Yeah. You're, you're perfect. You're doing a beautiful, beautiful. See, what I did is I kept the speed up by just changing the trim. Now, what happens if you want to slow it up? I remember I put about two or three turns of trim in, you know, down, so you're going to have to take two or three turns out. There you go. That's the other little trick I'll teach you, you know, if you, if you know I'm doing something, I put two turns in when I run the opposite, I two, turn, two turns out, and that just makes it easier for me rather than pushing and fighting the airplane. Field 3,800 feet, we're going to be doing some field in and out, sending for the pattern, only one eight, clear ridge. There's my pattern out there, so don't go any lower, don't go any lower. There. Now you're checking for other airplanes entering the pattern here. So they're entering the 45 there, that's it. Now it's just straight and low flight, so you need you know that you need 21, 2200 RPM as a normal. There you go. Okay. Great Barrington traffic, 20 Romeo, turning Downwind, runway 29. Got a little low. I have 50 feet, I'm not worried about it. I like the feel of the yoke in this one a little better, though. The, the and grips. Fingers don't want to slip. I can hold it lighter without. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's good air. I soloed in this airplane back, you know, and, you know a long time ago. Robert, traffic Cessna 0 Zulu Zulu, engine number 45, downwind, runway 20, Robert.
And now it's just normal landing from here. Again, whenever you go to any airport, no matter where you go, pick a spot where you want to land the airplane and then fly it right to that spot. That way you know it's going to happen because what happens is if you use that big runway and you say, oh, i got to flare now, what happens is you can flare 30 feet in the air and stall the airplane out. So pick a point and fly the airplane right to that point, then you flare and make your butt. Great Barrington traffic, 3-3 uh, three, three uniform, turning base, runway 29. Long This one nose feels very different, right? Yep, it does. Yep, it's very. You don't need as much up trim like you do in the other one. Ah, okay. Bring the power, bring the power back. Bring, you're getting high, you're getting high. Bring the power right up. Bring it off all the way, all the way, all the way off, 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 off. off. There you go. I see you're high and you're fast right now. You reverse thrust, speed brakes, and air conditioning all at once. Traffic, red white smoke plane is about uh, 5 northeast, uh, 2200 feet. We're going to go down the east side of the valley. Great Barrington. There you go. We'll park it at the uh, fuel pump south side. Okay. South side of the pumps and then uh, facing uh, the east mountain. Slow it up, slow it up, slow it up, slow it up. The south side. Very good. Okay. What an adventure. Yes, it was. <laughs> you got one of those pens I gave you there? Yep. Oh, man. Yeah, I definitely need to get more comfortable with the sectional. Well, today was the, the first one is always just an opening. I, we'll, we'll do the rest of the checklist. Shut the power off. Oh, 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 yes, yeah. okay. Gotta shut the radios off. So, the yeah, idea I, today was just like people just look at the sex. I said, okay, I can look here. So, here, here. You look outside and see where Pittsfield is. That way, like, if something mm -hmm. happens, like, oh, shit, where the hell is Pittsfield? I got Pittsfield inside all the way. Find there. as many identifying markers as you can. Exactly. And that way, there, you're not going to go outside. Okay, I know where I'm. You know, Glens Falls, I hop on uh, Mass Pike, the 87 north that takes me to Glens Falls. This way here, there's 97. Well, there's 90 right there, but look at that. I'm cutting the corner. I'm going all these trees. This heading looks good. I can see, it's just, I can see the far things over there. This heading looks absolutely great, so let me just hold this heading and keep going that way there. Mm -hmm. Is there something still on that I hear? These are No, these are the gyros. Oh, yeah. they're spinning down. Yeah, they're okay. spinning down. They'll, you come back five minutes after you get out of the airplane, they're still spinning. Mm -hmm. 